Hi everybody, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will show you how I made these this flame or flames because uh, in reality uh, this is only uh, these are uh, two meshes and uh, it was actually a cube. I duplicate them and I subdivide them and tweak them with the uh, uh, the modeling tools and subdivide them once to have a smooth um, shape and also a smooth shading here if you want to take a screenshot of the first uh, object the first uh, the, um, the nose of the first object. and this one is for the second one I guess yeah the blue one okay now let's delete all the um, Shading the material. Let's add that stuff from the beginning. Let's rename it. Probably want to name it, uh, give it a reasonable name better than this one. Okay, I delete the principal shader and uh, added a mix shader. We don't need the principal shaders because we ain't gonna, not, we don't need. Uh, Shadows or uh, any other stuff, or glossiness. We only need a transparent shader plus a emission shader. We want to mix them together. I'm going to use a mask. The mask will be uh, the fernal, or you can use also the layer weight. It contains the fernal or also the facing. I like to use uh, facing. Here I'm adding a color ramp to tweak to have more control in where the transparency will be. And uh, there are some settings you need to change, special uh, special settings for Eevee if you, want, if you want this to work in Eevee. From opaque to uh, alpha blend. And you uh, since. Uh, this is a flame. We we don't want it to have any shadows. So uh, simply change it from opaque to none. Yeah. So I realized I realized that we have the um, artifact here. So it's a good idea to turn on the uh, back face uh, cooling. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Okay, we are getting somewhere. Here I'm tweaking the values. Simply tweaking till I get the result that I'm satisfied with. Uh, I changed the color of the emission, as you can see, from white to blue. Here I'm adding more strength to the uh, emission. And also I uh, added a uh, gradient texture and uh, like always you can uh, press ctrl T to get this mapping and texture coordinate I used the object texture coordinate uh, so we won't have any stretch or something like that okay I choose the linear it's a linear by default I change the rotation of the y-axis Here I'm trying to uh, have a gradient from top to bottom, so I can remove the, so I can make the top of the flame a little bit more transparent than the bottom one, the bottom part. Yeah, I, simply tweaking scale and the scale and to get the uh, best result. Also use the uh, color ram. Here yeah, I'm adding a mix shader, a uh, mix uh, RGB to mix these two uh, colors, two textures, two color maps, and use multiply and uh, take it all the way to uh, one. As you can see now, we have uh, black uh, black color from the top, so anything that is black will be transparent. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I want it to be transparent from the top. Okay, now as you can see, we have a 
decent result. So let's go to the other object, other mesh, and let's give the material name it a proper name, <laughs> and do the same thing. In this case, I used uh, instead of using one color, instead of using uh, a single color blue, I used the uh, uh, color uh, for adding more variation colors from red to blue. Here, I'm just tweaking the uh, like like before, just tweaking where the transparency will be. The more you tweak, the more you will get the results that you want to have. Here I'm, uh, like, like I said, I wanted to make this object a little more transparent. Uh, the flames, the red flames, more transparent. And almost there. Just a few tweaks and uh, we'll get the, the great flames. Here I'm adding the same thing. Texture coordinate using object, mapping and using a gradient, linear gradient, and doing the same thing. Trying to um, here I just apply the scale the object so I don't have weird gradient. Um, here I'm just testing. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, apply the scale of the object so you don't confuse yourself or get some weird results. Now it's let's rotate the object uh, the gradient from top to bottom. Add a color M to invert the uh, color. I want the black to be the top and white the bottom. I use the uh, I, I I most most of the time I use beef spline, so. I like the uh, this one. Gives a smooth result. More tweaks, more tweaks, and here I will mix these two color ramps with a mix RGB using multiply. Of course, come on. Yes, there you go. Multiply all the way to one. Okay, that's it. Bye bye.